Hello sweetest potatoes, as an avid consumer of the humble matcha latte, I've been experimenting and perfecting my matcha recipes over the past few months, influenced by my dear friend Remy of Veggiekins. Health benefits aside, because this brilliant green powder has plenty, I found solace in having a simple but solid morning ritual. Something to look forward to every morning and to start the day off at a slower but more intentional pace. So let's get our day started. Of course, we have our matcha. I'd recommend ceremonial over culinary if possible as the former is shade grown, hand picked and hand ground, meaning health benefits aplenty. This one is from Iputo. I can't find the exact one, but I'll link their website down below and it's super comprehensive. Next, we have the bowl. Pro tip, get one with a spout. It makes a huge difference and will make your life 10 times easier. You're welcome. In the bowl is the strainer, which helps sift and declump the matcha powder. This is one of the most important steps. In front of the bowl, we have the bamboo tea ladle, or you can just use a spoon. This one just so happens to be a bamboo spoon. Lastly, the cha sen or whisk is also very important as it helps aerate the matcha and create the beautiful froth. When it comes to milk, I prefer oat, more specifically oatly, but any dairy alternatives work. No hate for dairy, it's just that milk sticks to the polyphenols, which alter the bioavailability of the matcha. In English, dairy will cancel out the health benefits of matcha. Here are four ways you can serve the milk. You can pour straight from the carton if you're making an ice latte or just if you, that's what you want to do, go for it. You can heat it up over a stove top, just keep an eye on it so it doesn't curd. You can throw it in the microwave and use a hand frother. This has been my go-to the past year before I decided to invest in an actual milk frother. I have the setting on low froth. There's an option for high, henceforth why there's less froth than the handheld whisk. Moving on to the fancy extras. Busy drinks, I've been loving Sanzo. It's made with real fruit and no added sugar. For sweeteners, they're always optional. I've been reaching for honey the most. There's also maple syrup as well as Asian black sugar. And the newest additions to my latte lineup, concentrates. We have Calpico, if you know, you know. And this delicious fruit syrup from The Base Co, where the primary sweetness comes from the fruits in their brilliantly and very thoughtfully curated blends. So with the basics down, it's time to start making the matcha. The classic, humble, and forever exuding the comforting vibes of the coffee shop we all wish we're at. This is that dependable friend who will pick up your call at 3 a.m. and be with you through thick and thin. Introducing the oat milk latte. Here's what you'll need, of course, oat milk and matcha. So to make this drink, the ideal water temperature is around 175 degrees Fahrenheit or 80 degrees Celsius. You first sift the matcha through the strainer to declump and then whisk the matcha using your wrist in a W motion. So the point of using a spoon is to break the fall of the milk, but I'm realizing now watching this clip that, you know, I failed epically, so I gave up halfway, but that is the idea. Adding some extra foam on top and dusting remaining matcha powder from your strainer is optional, but it does make it look mighty gorgeous, darling. Sweet, thoughtful, and caring. This friend is as loving as she is preoccupied. While she's sometimes forgetful, her phone's always out of battery and takes eons to get ready. The wait is always worth it in the end. 
This is the strawberry matcha latte. Here I'm using about one cup of frozen strawberries because I couldn't find fresh strawberries for the life of me anywhere in the city. I'm adding three tablespoons of black sugar. Simmer it all on medium to low heat for about 15 minutes. So now you make the matcha as normal and begin building the drink with the strawberry jam as the base. The milk pour was significantly more chef's kiss than the previous pour. swirl and enjoy <laughs> hands down the most positive and refreshing friend of the bunch who simultaneously exudes immense warmth and depth lighting up any room she enters forever seeing the glass half full introducing the sparkling sunrise here you'll need a natural sweetener. This is the Basis Gooseberry Marigold. It has a very subtle floral profile and I absolutely love it. Sparkling water of choice, I have Sanzo's Mango and although it's not OJ, it'll help give it that iconic sunrise color. And of course, matcha. So how to make this? Start with the natural sweetener. Again, I always just eyeball, so about this much is enough. Throw in a few ice cubes to help break the fall of the sparkling water and matcha. This is very important if you care about getting the layers, but if you don't care to each zone, I actually don't mind sparkling water. That's room temperature. And yes, I know many of you guys are judging me right now, but let's focus on how beautiful the separation is. Throw in a few more ice cubes for good measure and carefully pour in the matcha, crying the happiest of tears. Your hippest friend who spends their weekend browsing thrift shops knows all the best hidden gems in town and travels to Japan skipping Tokyo to go straight to Kyoto. They're the epitome of 90s nostalgia and is always looking at the past with rose tinted glasses. When you meet, it's as if rediscovering a long lost friend. Introducing the 626 Childhood Dreams. You'll need Kelpico Concentrate, which is quote, a light, somewhat milky, and slightly acidic flavor similar to plain or vanilla flavored Asian yogurt or Yakult. Sparkling water of choice, I'm going with Sanzo's Lychee, my favorite flavor from their three flavor collection. Pour in the Calpico Concentrate. The direction calls for a 1 to 4 ratio, but it's pretty concentrated and sweet, so I'd say you can get away with less than that. Add in a few ice cubes, bask in the refreshing, effervescent glow as a sparkling water slowly cascades down set ice cubes. And think to yourself, isn't it beautiful to be alive? <laughs> The slight pearlescent translucent milkiness of the lychee sparkling water gives this drink a very dreamy and inviting filter. I definitely want to be its friend. Pro tip, since I'm very sensitive to caffeine at night, I'll make this exact drink without the matcha. So yes, it's just Calpico concentrate and sparkling water and it is glorious. This last friend will opt for a side salad over fries most days, hits the gym while we're all still in bed, but knows how to have a good time, is always down, and somehow has that work, social life, and self-care balancing thing on lock. We can only choose two, they choose all three. Introducing MBBMIH. Matcha boba, but make it health. <laughs> You'll need agar boba. I got a giant bag from Amazon and had to rinse the boba in a strainer before using it because it's soaked in syrup, but it was worth it. I first came across this probably somewhere in Taiwan, but tried it for the very first time at a boba shop in 626 as a healthier alternative to boba. It's a bit crunchier and not as Q in texture, but it's still soft and delightful and reminiscent of the OG pearls. For this, I started with the matcha so that the milk can do this. 
Is that gravity? I have no idea, but it looks epic. My pride and joy, all of them, to be honest, but this one is just marvelous to look at. It's mesmerizing and hypnotizing. I hope you guys like that video it's been a long time coming oh my goodness i've been wanting to make this video for the longest time so i know the past couple of videos haven't been as deep as my regular content i think i got a little burnt out when i made the you know two to three months worth of like soul searching content so after this matcha video, we'll go back to regular scheduled programming. But as with all things, I really do believe that from the little things that we do throughout our days, it can help us make all the difference in our lives. Even if it's something as small as making a matcha in your morning. So please let me know down below which matcha you felt like described you perfectly, which drink is you, or if I miss any drinks, just let me know um, what that is, and I will see you guys in next week's video.